Hi guys and welcome to 123 MyT's video on how to transfer content and data from your old Samsung Galaxy phone to your new Samsung Galaxy phone. Okay guys, so we're going to take a look at transferring all our content, so our data from our old uh, Samsung Galaxy S6 phone to our new Samsung Galaxy S7. And with the new phone we've got this how to transfer content to your new Galaxy phone and what it does is it uses this little USB connector and we use this USB connector with the USB cable that comes with the Galaxy phone. Okay, the USB charger. We plug that into the connector and then we plug one end into our new phone and one end into our old phone and then we transfer the data just via this USB connector. So we're going to give that a shot today and see how we go um, with transferring the data. So if we have a look on the back of the instructions here, you can see here it says you can easily transfer content such as music, clips, photos, messages and contacts from your previous compatible device to your new Galaxy device via the USB connector. Okay, and then it says down below that, it says step one, connect the two devices. Step two, tap on the smart switch icon. So smart switch is an app that you can use. So to start up smart switch, you need to go into the Galaxy store. So if we go into the apps menu on our phone, and then we go into the Samsung menu, and then we go into the Galaxy apps. All right, up the top, press search, type in smart switch, and then we just download that one. All right, accept and download. We just want to hit accept. Now on the old phone you can actually get it from Google Play. Smart switch. All right. Go ahead and install it. We just want to update because I've already got a version of it installed from when I transferred the data last time. So once you've got your smart switch downloaded, start up your app on both phones. So if you want to start it up on the older phone, you can, should just be able to get it under your apps menu called Smart Switch. Okay, so you can see that one's ready to go. And on the newer phones, you'll actually need to go into Apps, and then go into Settings, and then scroll down to where it says Backup and Reset, and then you have Open Smart Switch button at the top. So you can't just open it like an app, it's actually part of the phone OS, fully integrated now. So and we want to select Android device on both, because we're selecting from Android to Android. Now, you, obviously you've got other options here. You can transfer from iOS, so your iPhone or a Blackberry device, and vice versa on your new or older phone. So let's go ahead and plug in the USB cable to both phones. Okay, and we're gonna go start. On both phones, we want to send because this is our older phone, and on the newer phone, we want to receive. All right, now up the top here it says estimated time is one hour 30, so it's got quite a fair bit of data to transfer, and then underneath that it says estimated total size, so eight gigabytes worth of data, and then estimated available space 29.77 gigabytes. And we've also got some data on our other, other, so on the device here we've got 21 gigs, 21.77 gigabytes, and then on the SD card we've got 8 gigabytes on the SD card. We scroll down a little bit here and it tells you what items it wants to transfer. So for example contacts, we could either tick that or untick it if we didn't want to transfer the contacts to our uh, new phone. Uh, we've got memo items, call logs, clock, Everything that you've set, all these little settings that you've set in your phone over the last however long you've had your phone for, it wants to transfer those across. So let's just make it something really simple. Let's go and we want to remove everything. We don't want to transfer everything. We just want to transfer, for example, um, call log, uh, memo. Let's transfer memo. Let's transfer our clock, our alarm clock settings and... That's it. Let's just try that and we'll go send. All right, it should be sending it through to the new phone now. We want to hit receive on the new phone. All right, once this is complete, you should have a little 
uh, content transferred on both phones and it says here your content has been transferred to your new Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge. Okay guys, that's it from me. Leave your thoughts in the comments section below and as always hit the like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.